you seen Star Wars? <laughs> If you remember back in 2017 when The Last Jedi came out, of course there was a lot of criticism for the film, but one of the main characters that had a lot of backlash towards how they were performed and what their character was about was mainly the character of Rose Tico played by Kelly Marie Tran. And now that it's 2020, Kelly Marie Tran has completely left social media. And in this interview, she reflects on that decision. She says this, I mean, I think that, you know, it's a different decision for everyone, and I think that people should do what they think is right for them. I also think that it was the best thing that I ever did. I don't know. It's funny. It feels like people are still shocked by it sometimes. I'm like, no, I just did what was best for me. So personally, I do have to commend her for leaving social media. I do think social media has a lot of... Uh, toxic and negative engagements with people that you would meet through the internet there's things you would say on the internet anonymously or even not anonymously just with your user handle that you would say to someone that you would not say to them in person and a lot of people will speculate and Kelly Marie Tran has basically said herself that there was a lot of hate that she got for her character Rose Tico in The Last Jedi and this was mainly in 2018 I mean I remember 2018 was not a very good year for Star Wars fans but there were a lot of people in the reviews for The Last Jedi who just constantly harped on the character of Rose Tico and it was kind of repeating history with Ahmed Best from the 1999's The Phantom Menace he played Jar Jar Binks and a lot of people couldn't separate the difference between Ahmed Best as a person and Jar Jar Binks as the character that Ahmed Best happens to play. And the same thing happened to Rose Tico. I remember seeing a review for The Last Jedi and the guy literally called Rose Tico a fat Asian bitch. I mean, that's I'm not exaggerating. He called her that multiple times. And I understand when he's saying that, he is, of course, referencing Rose Tico, but who is playing Rose Tico? Kelly Marie Tran. So if Kelly Marie Tran is listening to this guy's review, she's not hearing him critique Rose Tico as a character. She's hearing him critique Kelly Marie Tran as a person in her appearance and calling her a, a, basically a bad word just because why not? Because it's supposed to be funny and edgy. And it really wasn't funny and it wasn't that, that good of a review anyways. I did not like The Last Jedi. I did not like Rose Tico as a character in the slightest. I still don't. When Rise of Skywalker came out, I was like, what's the point of even having her in this? I mean, she not only did nothing in the Rise of Skywalker, she's a character that was just a sideline character. She wasn't meant to be anything important, in my opinion. And I feel bad for Killer Marie Tran for the negative reaction people had towards her character, like myself, but there's a difference between me looking at Rose Tico and saying, I don't like Rose as a character. And then me going to Killer Marie Tran and be like, hey, I don't like you because you played Rose and I don't like Rose. I remember someone gave me shit for basically saying that I thought Kelly Marie Tran was like a very pretty person. I, I think she's an attractive woman. And someone was like, aren't you the idiot who thought, you know, Kelly Marie Tran was hot? It's like, wow, so just because I don't like her character of Rose, I'm now not allowed to be attracted to the woman who plays Rose. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the levels of stupidity that goes on through the internet, it, it's astounding. And I do think that people had a lot of negative reactions towards Rose and took that out on Kelly Marie Tran, kind of repeating what happened to Ahmed Best. And it's funny because now there are documentaries, now there are people out here who are, it's almost like conspiracy theory stuff where they're like, no, Kelly Marie Tran didn't get any backlash. No one was hating on her, on her, there's no proof on her social media. Well, it's like, all right, well, her social media is gone. I don't know how many people will actually go through the comment section of someone else's Instagram, Twitter or any social media platform and then go through the comments and look at the negative ones, screenshot them and then save them. It, it doesn't make much sense to me to deny what Kelly Marie Tran is saying here that she had a lot of hate going towards her in the comment section. We know Daisy Ridley had the same thing. Uh, we, we know that for sure. We know John Boyega definitely had the same thing. But when it comes to Kelly Marie Tran, oh no, we, we don't believe her. We don't believe her. Why? Well, because fuck you. That's why. <laughs> That's the mentality of some of these people. And, and I just have to say, I do feel bad for Kelly because I do think she got a lot of unnecessary hate. However, I do think she handled it in a not so great way because she went from there's one thing to ignore and I think that's the best way to do this in general it's like if you're on social media if you have a big following in general and this is a rule of thumb I follow I don't read the comments most of the time but now anytime I do see a mean comment guided towards me it's just it's a simple thing of dude it's the internet like you know this person probably would not say that to your face in person which is completely fine most people are cordial when we actually meet each other in person but also it's just how the internet works. People are awful. People are stupid. People really use the worst aspects of themselves to betray themselves on the internet. And I think Kelly Marie Tran got to experience that firsthand 
And at first, I liked the way she was dealing with this. She left social media and then was kind of done with everything, just ignoring the haters, basically. But then, she started doing articles on, like, the New York Times, basically blaming white people. She was saying things along the lines of, they didn't like me because I'm not white. They didn't like me because I'm an Asian female being represented in Star Wars. And... <laughs> I'm sure there are guys out there, I'm sure there's awful people on the internet who do subconsciously have those maybe racial biases, but I'm talking like that is probably less than 1%, probably even less than less than 1%. I mean, there's not a lot of people, in my opinion, at least in 2020, who look at a movie and go, hey man, I don't want this uh, Asian woman in my Star Wars movie. I mean, dude, I'm on the internet a lot. My job is kind of through internet, and mainly when it comes to Star Wars, I've seen every comment under the sun critiquing every aspect of all the movies. I've never seen anyone critique one of the films and blame the race or the sex and gender of someone as a reason they did not like it. Now, I've heard criticism of it being like, oh, this is too political. They're doing women empowerment just to do women empowerment instead of actually focusing on the story. I've heard those arguments, and whether you think they're right or wrong, that's an argument to be made. But I've never heard anyone look at Rose Tico as a character and be like, I don't like her because she's Asian. And that, when Kelly says something like that, it adds fuel to the fire of people going, oh, well, now I really don't like you. You, you, you think we don't like you because you're not white? No, but now we don't like you because we're, you're saying something like that. It it's, makes things worse. And the comment she's making right here is fine. Hey, I left social media. It was right for me. And, you know, some people should do it. Some people shouldn't. And I think it's a great message to send. I think getting off of social media and not focusing on it so much is a great mentality a lot of people should have towards the future because it is a very negative thing and toxic thing to be around, mainly for people who don't have the mental capacity to handle it and separate that from the real world, but also someone in Kelly's position where you're getting a lot of this media attention for people basically not liking your character in a Star Wars movie and therefore not liking you. And I do think it's ironic that history repeats itself that you know, 1999, Ahmed Best got a lot of crap for playing Jar Jar, and some of it did have to do with his race. I mean, that one was very apparent that it was about his race at that time. And now, you know, 2017, Last Jedi comes out, Kelly Marie Tran gets a lot of backlash towards her character, Rose Tico, and it wasn't about her race, but she made it about her race, and it kind of changed the narrative around what happened there. And there's also people who deny that this whole thing even happened, so I don't know how to... Uh, really address that because how do you prove someone was getting hate on the internet when they're no longer on the internet really and, and all that stuff it's a very stupid thing to have to debate and deal with but heart goes out to Kelly Marie Tran she handled it semi okay don't like the accusations that people didn't like her because she's not white but also don't like the fact that people didn't like her because she just played a role in a bad Star Wars movie I didn't like The Last Jedi but you don't see me going after Ryan Johnson and Kelly Marie Tran and basically anyone who was involved with it. I don't care, all right? Life sucks, the internet sucks, move on from it. But tell me your thoughts below. What do you guys think about Kelly Marie Tran opening up about her reflection on leaving social media? Do you think it was a good idea for her to do it? Do you think she actually got a lot of hate at the time? Or do you think she and other people are making that up? Tell me your thoughts below. I'm Star Wars Only. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe because it does about the channel. I will see you all next time, and may the Force be with you always.